Hello, Pokemon trainers! Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play, our split Let's Play on iStarly TV. I'm your host, Scarecrow, today. I am in... I forgot the name of the town. It's like Mount Hakalani, something like that. I don't remember. But I'm about to take on the Electric Trial, and I just defeated Molane, I think his name is, and I'm going to follow him into the observatory. I wanted to heal my team first just to kind of see where things go. And uh, I actually have a lot to cover here because off screen I've done a, a good amount of leveling and I have some new members of my teams. Uh, Dieter and I, we do our battles every few levels so our next battle is level 30 so I'm raising up my teams to level 30 and we will have two parties this time, two parties each rather than one party. So we'll have a, a battle with you know our main party versus our main party and then our second party versus our second party and then maybe we'll mix things up as well so i have my a lot of my main party and they're all pretty much the same except maybe one member and then i also will have a second party of level 30 pokemon and for that i have a lot of new things so let's take a look at my party right now it's a little interesting it's got a lot of things going on here let's start here with snorlax now this was the munchlax that i obtained by by doing the event to get the Snorlium Z. If you want to find out how to do that, go ahead and cl click the link. I'll post a link to that video, how to get this, the Munchlax with Snorlium Z. You level up uh, Munchlax, it evolves into Snorlax, and it actually has the event exclusive move Happy Hour. And what that does, as you can see, is it doubles the amount of prize money received after battle. This Snorlax is also holding the item Luck Incense, which you can purchase in one of the town's... Uh, towards the end of the second island and what this item does is it also doubles the prize money that you earn in the battle and so the luck incense actually stacks with happy hour the move and so you can get four times the normal amount of money than you norm than you would uh, if you use the move happy hour in battle and you're holding the luck incense so i've been using my snorlax just to get a lot of money that's why it's level 36 right now i'm not using the snorlax in our battle it's just like a side party member the purpose of it is to get me a lot of money because i was running a little low on money and i want to you know get a lot more <laughs> Next we have this Eevee. I'm just, I just have this Eevee in my party with a Soothe Bell because I want to evolve it into either Espeon or Umbreon. As I mentioned before, I'm focusing on completing my Pokédex and so I don't care. I don't want Espeon or Umbreon on, on my team. I just want them in the Pokédex to, to, you know, register them. So um, I'm raising this Eevee. And then I also have this Pikachu for similar reasons. At level 34, it'll learn Discharge. And at that level, I'm going to use a Thunderstone to evolve it into a Lolan Raichu. This is not on my team either. This is not on either of my battling teams. It's just it's just here to help me out in this trial and to hopefully evolve into Raichu at some point soon. I'm, I'm giving it the item Leftovers because it's otherwise kind of weak. So it can recover some health each turn. Now the next member, so I've been doing a lot of the SOS chaining battles, and I'll probably do a full guide. I did a mini guide on how to catch female Salandit, if you want to check out that video. But I will probably do a more in-depth guide into the SOS battling in general. However, I've been doing a lot of it, and I was SOS chaining Mudbraze. And so when you SOS chain Pokemon, you use the Adrenaline Orb to make them, to kind of force them to summon other Pokemon to call for help. And the more you chain, the more Pokemon that they call for help for, and, and then you kill them, and then they call for more help, and then you kill them, you keep doing that, the higher the chances of having Pokemon with good stats, good IVs, and the higher your chances of getting a shiny. So I actually have a shiny Mudbray. I named it Horselin. <laughs> um, I thought that that was kind of fitting. I really like this Pokemon. I like Mudbray better than Mudsdale, but... Now the thing is, I'm going to be using Mudbray on my second party, not my main party, so it'll be on the other the other team. And uh, since this is an electric trial, I figure that this is going to help me a lot in the battle. And Dieter does not know about this Pokemon, so he's going to be surprised when we battle and I have a shiny Mud Mudsdale. So really exciting stuff, beautiful, beautiful thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just super proud of it because it's, it's a strong Pokemon, it's got a unique ability, unique stats. And it's shiny. I mean, what more could you ask for? So this is one of my prize members right now. And then here is Greywind, my Lycanroc. I will also be using him today to take on this, this battle. Hopefully he does well for me. He is in my main party still, and I'm really proud of him. He he did evolve. I think it was off screen, but I'm really, I, I love this Pokemon. It's, it's, it's just an awesome design. It's really fast and really strong. And I'm looking for him to be a strong member of my team when I take on Dieter again. 
And then finally, I have a Passimian. I named it Melancholy because it has a melon. And also because when I battled it, it was calling a lot of Pokemon to help it. It was calling a lot of Trumbeaks. So it took me a long time to catch this Pokemon. I finally did, and I'm naming it Melancholy. And I like Passimian a lot. It's a pure fighting type. This Pokemon will be used on my second party. Alright, so we are in the Hakulani, Hokulani Observatory, and we are looking for Molane. I think this is how the, the story is going to progress for us to find um, the electric trial, I guess. I don't know. Oh, here's Sophocles. He's actually the trial captain, so hopefully we can battle him or something. You're getting close to your goal. You must have come here to attempt the trial. Do you like the Festival Plaza? Of course I do. I've been using that a lot. That's how I use the GTS to obtain rare Pokemon. Alright, so let's get started. Right now, right here. Right now, right here. <laughs> I just said that. Are we battling? Is this the trial? I hope this is the trial. Summon the totem Pokemon and prove your strength. That's what every trial bo boils down to, right? So I thought, why not just call the totem Pokemon here from the start? So I tried a bit of this and that, and I've been I've whipped up a little device to call the totem Pokemon. Here at the observatory, we monitor the sounds and detect from outer space. Uh, they're inaudible to people, but Pokemon can hear them just fine. They broadcast the sounds terrestrially and monitor the reactions of Pokemon. So by using these sounds, they're able to develop a security system. Um, that was Big Mo, who's Molane's intention. Molane is a character we just met. I just battled him off screen, but, um, eh, he's just a dude. Totem Pokemon 2.0. <clears throat> uh oh, of course something's gonna go horribly wrong here. It's it's way too easy for him to just summon the totem Pokemon, do the trial, and, and that's it. I'm sure that the lights are gonna go out and we're gonna have to like turn them back on or something. Oh, the totem Pokemon's coming. Let's get this trial going. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, we'll see. We'll see how things go. It's really dark, so um, in order to open the door, we have to respond to the audio quiz. What sound do you hear? Oh, so I have to actually listen here. Alright, easy enough. That is the Pokemon Center sound. That's kind of funny. Okay, uh, a Pokemon came through, so we have to defeat it. A Grubbin, that's easy. Alright, so... This is a wild Pokemon battle. So I'm just going to go ahead and go all in here and one hit KO with Giga Impact. What I'm going to do after this is I'm just going to switch Lycanroc to the front of my party. I'm probably not going to be battling too many trainers in this in this trial because you normally don't. You normally just battle a bunch of wild Pokemon and then the totem Pokemon. And so for that reason, I don't need Snorlax's happy hour, you know, shenanigans. Oh, actually, I might not even be able to <laughs> to switch Pokemon. We'll see. Alright, so... Oh, okay. This is very strange. <laughs> it's all over the place. Alright, so next audio quiz. Alright, what sound do you hear when you get what? Or you hear the sound when you get what? Uh, let's see. Let's listen again. It's the Rotom Dex, I believe. Yeah, I think that's the Rotom Dex. Well, it's not a berry, and it's not a TM, so... Charge. Uh-oh. This is a Charger Bug now. And unfortunately, since I cannot switch my Pokemon out, it's going to be Snorlax again, and he's going to be able to easily one-hit KO it. I really like Charger Bug. I can't wait till mine evolves. But Charger Bug itself has been actually a, v a pretty valuable member to my team, believe it or not. Even though it's a second stage, it's actually... It's got a pretty interesting typing, it's got a good move pool, it's got good defenses, so it can take hits really nicely. Um, and this it's just not even going to survive. It's just not even fair. I, I should have totally thought ahead and switched Snorlax to the, to the back of my party. It's just not even fair that I'm just destroying everything. Oh, nice! Okay, Eevee's gonna evolve. It's probably gonna evolve into Umbreon. I was actually hoping for Espeon, but it's probably because it's nighttime in the game right now, so it looks like it's gonna be an Umbreon, which is fine. I, I need Umbreon or Espeon, so now I just need to capture Espeon. There is actually a way to capture Umbreon or Espeon in one of the routes. There's like a, I don't know, like a 1% chance that you can encounter them. Um, and I just figured it would be faster for me to 
raise my Eevee while I'm just playing the game rather than trying to ride around in the grass. If you can see there, I have almost all the Eevees at this point. Yesterday I went on an Eevee evolving spree. I purchased all the stones, evolved, I, I hatched, I, I left Eevee at the daycare and hatched like seven Eevee eggs and then just evolved one at a time. <laughs> Alright, so we have an Umbreon now. Just delete tackle, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use this thing for battles, it's just there to sit pretty in my Pokedex. Although I do really like Umbreon as a Pokemon, it's one of my favorites, definitely. I I really appreciate the design, it's it's awesome. Alright. Hopefully before we take on the Totem Pokemon, I can switch out Snorlax. Because like I said, with Snorlax in the front, it's kind of like easy mode. And I want to give my, my Lycanroc and my Mudbray a little bit of a, of a challenge and a little bit of a chance. Which cry is- which Pokemon's cry is this sound? This is tough. I know all the Pokemon's cries up until like 4th or 5th gen. Uh, afterwards, I don't know all of them by heart. Oh, great. Uh, actually, because I have this Pokemon on my team, I think I do know. I think that's Chargebug. I like the little sound at the end. Um, because I remember thinking that Chargebug's cry is actually really cool. So, um, that's why it stood out to me, but... A lot of other Pokemon in 7th Gen, I, I wouldn't know their cries. <laughs> Alright, unfortunately, once again, Snorlax is just going to destroy this thing. Huh. I mean, I could switch into Lycanroc. I'm just going to switch into Lycanroc. It'll have a super effective um, attack against Chargebug. And just look how awesome it is. This is so cool. Wolves are really cool. And we finally have like a, a proper wolf Pokemon. Like Mightyena, I don't know, I don't even know what Mightyena was. I guess it was kind of a wolf, kind of like a dog thing. But anyways, let's go Rock Tomb it. And that should easily dispatch of it. Oh, not easily. I guess Chargebug does have good defense. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed here, but this is part of the challenge, right? And then when Lycanroc evolves, or when it evolves into Lycanroc, it learns its unique Exclusive move, Accelerock, which is basically a rock-type quick attack, which is very powerful. I mean, priority is always very good. And it's nice that rock finally gets, you know, its own priority. So that's going to be really useful against Dieter's team. Dieter has Alolan Vulpix, which is an ice type, and he also has Ribombi, which is a bug type. So Accelerock is going to be very valuable there. Alright, so we're almost there. Fool me twice, shame on the security system. Alright, it's extremely close by. Totem Pokemon incoming! Alright, the final security question. What appears when you hear the following music? That's a tough one. I don't think it's a trainer, and I don't think it's a wild Pokemon, so I'm going to say a totem Pokemon. I haven't really been paying attention in the totem battles to notice the music. But I'm going to guess totem. It. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, like I said, process of elimination. It doesn't sound like trainer music, nor does it sound like just wild Pokemon music. Alright, so the... Oh, Vikavolt is the totem Pokemon. That's awesome. That's kind of cheating, though, because you can't get Vikavolt until a lot later... So I guess it's coming from where you evolve your Chargebug. Alright, this is very cool. So I am... Now, this is going to be difficult. I am going to switch out Snorlax into Lycanroc just to make things a little more challenging for myself. I might regret this. I mean, I totally could just go for Giga Impact here. I don't think I would one-hit KO the Vikavolt, but it would do a lot of damage. Now, Greywind, unfortunately, is a little bit low on health. So this is going to be... This is going to be difficult. But if Greywind dies, then I can easily just send in Mudbray. I just want Greywind to be... Oh man, that's that's tough. Okay. Yeah, so the switching out wasted a turn for me. Um, okay, if I had Rock Slide, that would be perfect. It does look like I'm going to be losing Greywind here. I mean, I could heal him, but then I'm just going to get attacked twice. I, I will attack the Vikavolt. I mean, it's not going to kill. It does a lot. Okay, okay, yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, either way, 
Craywin didn't do much here. I'm, I'm, I'm sad about that. He's awesome. Uh, so Horselin will do a lot. It does have the stamina ability, which means that every time it's hit with an attack, its defense gets boosted. So that's going to be extremely valuable here. And I can also just spam Bulldoze for a little while, just so it'll hit both of the Pokemon. It's not going to do a whole... Oh, it has Levitate! Oh my goodness! All right, well, it'll at least hit Chargebug. I forgot that Vikavolt has Levitate. Okay, that's funny. It's okay. That This Vice Grip shouldn't do that much damage, and it will boost my defense. So I I think Mudbray will be an all star here, and we're gonna get to see we're gonna get to see it evolve as well. Ooh, that did a lot though. All right, well my my defense is continuously going up, so these Pokemon are gonna find that Mudbray is a force to be reckoned with. This Rock Tomb should do a decent amount, assuming it lands. It could miss. All right, come on. Thank you, Horseling. Nice. Okay, so one more. Should do the trick? No, maybe not. It's gonna go for charge. That's not gonna do anything. Its electric attacks don't affect me at all. And boosting its special defense doesn't matter because I have very high defense anyway. Or, or sorry, I have physical attacks. I'm gonna be ha attacking it from the physical side of the spectrum, not the special side. So it doesn't matter that it's boosting its special defense. This is just an awesome Pokemon. I don't- I- I like Mudbray a lot because it's kind of like a little donkey, like a little mare. I've always wanted there to be like a donkey Pokemon. Um... And then, but Mud's Dale is kind of ugly, but, you know, it's gonna have to do. <laughs> I do like it as a- as a Pokemon, like as a concept. Which sounds weird, but, alright. So this Bug Bite shouldn't do too much. You see, they're boosting my defense, but it still looks like their attacks are doing a lot. Alright, so just so that, because Rock Tomb does have a chance to miss, I'm just going to double kick the Vika Volt because this will kill it. I will be faster than it. If I use Rock Tomb and it misses, then they just get another attack on me. And now the Charger Bug's faster because it used String Shot. But I should be able to survive all of its hits at this point. Okay, that almost didn't even kill. Well, it would have attacked twice, so either way it was going to kill, but oh, I'm getting a lot of experience here. My poor Grey Wind. He tried. Okay, Umbreon, I don't care about you anymore. <laughs> you can go back. Uh, I'm just gonna use High Horsepower. It's a powerful move, and and we get to showcase it. Uh, Charge a bug. I mean, again, Rock Tomb could miss. Okay, he's using Mudslap. That's a little unfortunate because now my attacks might start missing. And Mudslap ignores my defense boosts because it hits me from the special defense. Okay, that actually did a lot. Unfortunately, we are not faster. I'm just going to go for Bulldoze now because this should kill anyway. Unless I miss because of Mud Slap. Oh man, that's annoying. Okay, cool, cool. All-star here, Mud Bray. <laughs> Dang, it, it, it was my fault for not switching out Snorlax from the get-go. I should have put Lycanroc in the front from the beginning. And... And just tr went from there. Lycanroc would have done a lot more work. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna see a shiny Mudbray evolve. Oh, it's backwards. Okay, that's an interesting cry. But yes, look at that. That is beautiful. It's gonna be one of my all stars. Alright, and we're filling up our Pokedex continuously. That's what I want. I don't know how far... Well, it's going to show us how far into our Pokedex we are. I'm, I'm proud of it, though. I really want that shiny charm once I get far enough in the game. There we go. So, my overall Pokedex is 42%. That's not bad. It's not that bad. And this is like the first Pokemon game where I've really... Invested in catching every Pokemon and filling up the Pokedex right away like usually I, I just beat the game I don't catch everything and then I go back to completing the Pokedex But this is the first one where I'm kind of trying to complete the Poke Pokedex as we go now This thing weighs a ton. It literally weighs a ton. It weighs 2,028 pounds. This thing is heavy Heavy No wonder it's so slow. It's a, an extremely slow Pokemon Voon 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 all right so I think we beat it. Huh, this is Mo Lane. Softy, Big Mo, 
They're like bros. Seems that your ping totem Pokemon used too much electricity. The Electrium Z. Awesome. I can give it to Pikachu. Pikachu actually has a unique Z crystal. Boom! I got the Z Electrium Z. Very cool. All right. So Dieter will probably take on the next trial on screen. Boom. There you go. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Thanks or uh, congratulations. You passed my trial. He was really nervous. Oh, they're cousins. All right. That's legit. Let me reward you. Oh, we get two Z crystals in one. The Steelium Z. So I guess uh, Molain has Steel type Pokemon. When I battled him, he had Alolan, Dugtrio, and Skarmory. Professor's Mask? What does this do? So the Professor is the. Uh, Masked Kahuna guy or whatever. I forgot his name. All right, that's funny. They keep hinting at it. Like, there's this character who, like, wears, like, a wrestling mask and he doesn't wear a shirt. And uh, you encounter him in the Battle Royale and then everyone everyone hints that it's actually the Professor. But the Professor always, like, denies it or ignores it. But it, it seems like we're getting closer to this, to solving this riddle. All right, that was a good one. Maybe we can, maybe next time we can battle. All right, so we're going to take this mask to the professor we still have a little bit of time left in the episode so maybe i'll just take the mask to the professor we'll see what he has to say and then we'll cut the video off oh what's going on here of course there's always more team skull hold up mr kukui four turns huh bring it on oh he's about to thrash them isn't he Ooh, a battle royale cool oh we about to go down. Battle Royale, huh? Nice idea there, Kukui. You can beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? Who's this mysterious person? Oh, who's this cool cat? Nah, he ain't cool. It's Guzma. The boss has graced us with his presence. So this is the Team Skull boss, Guzma. Our first encounter. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma is here. Oh, he's getting close to him. They're about to throw down. Greetings, cowering public. We have an exciting bout for you tonight. In the opposing corner of the Pokemon, Professor Kukui. And in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Guzma. He doesn't look that hard. He ain't, noth he ain't got nothing on Giovanni. We've got all these moldy old traditions in Alola. The kahunas, the captains, it's about time we cut out all that silly garbage, make something new for ourselves. Don't get me wrong though, we've got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everyone already knows who the strongest trainer is. Speak for yourself, okay? <laughs> we got it. Be strong enough to be old Hala, he finally found what he was looking for. That's when he knew he had to make a Pokemon League. Let's see Guzma, show me your moves. Show me your moves. Don't you agree? What? So you're one of those kids on the island, huh? This here's Scarecrow. Scarecrow and his Lycan Rock can unleash some real powerful moves. This move fanatic is getting me all riled up. Oh, what's he looking at? What's he What's he doing? Oh, that was a weird camera angle. It'll make me strong. What? You're a fool. Destruction! This is neat. Alright, we're taking on the Guzma. I did switch my team around. I put Mudbray back in the... Or Mudsdale back in the BC because now it's level 30. It's going to be battling soon against Dieter. And then I took out my Breon and the Meteor just so they can hopefully level up. Ooh, now this is a powerful Pokemon. Luckily... Okay. <laughs> this is a tough 
a tough one right here because it's a bug type, which means Grey Wind's attacks are super effective, but it's also a water type, which means it can kill me very easily. I am just going to go for the Rock Tomb, though. Oh no, come on, please. Oh no. Come on, Grey Wind just can't catch a break here today. <laughs> Oh my god, my beautiful dog. I'm so distraught. Alright. Oh man, that was so sad. I think I am going to waste a turn here though to revive Grey Wind just so it can get some experience. Do I have revives? Yes, I do. My last revive, and it, it is worth it. I think Lycanroc is beautiful, but just... Oh no, Swords Dance. Oh no, this is not going to go well. Alright, this, this Rock Tomb has to hit, otherwise I'm in trouble. Come on, critical hit. Thing is, he's just going to retaliate with a stronger move. Oh no, this is not going to be good. Oh, oh, that was close, okay. Uh, let's try it again. Come on, crit. I don't want my Melancholy to die. Oh no, can it miss? Oh, cool. Alright, we're going to send it out. Okay. Ariados? Ooh, this could be decent. Okay. Uh, let's just go for Rock Tomb again, but Melancholy's so close. No, come on, don't die. Don't die, Ariados sucks. Yeah! <laughs> and that was my last revive. Uh, okay. We got this. I'm going to take another risk here. I'm going to go back into Grey Wind. I'm going to hope for the best. We do know Eridos has Shadow Sneak, though. Okay. Come on. Kill it. Oh, okay. Fell Stinger. What does that do? Oh, no! <laughs> My team. Oh, man. And I don't have any more revives. Well, it looks like we're going to get some Meteor action here. <clears throat> man. Shields down, so it has this form. Oh man, that was this is that's rough. Like that's embarrassing, actually. Oh wow, that thing's strong. I think our shields down are gonna activate though. But is it enough? Oh nice, we got all the boosts. All right. Well, Meteor is our surprise MVP in this battle. We wanted it to be Lycanroc or Passimian, and it wasn't. <laughs> Alright, so he's going back into Golisopod, and I should be able to take it on unless Golisopod has priority like Aqua Jet or something, which I know it gets Aqua Jet, I just don't know if it has it yet. Let's find out. Alright, cool. So this should kill it. But man, Golisopod is a threat. That thing is... Look at that. That thing is scary. I do have a Wimpod. Maybe I'll try to evolve it or something. That's a strong Pokemon. Alright, so... Trying to learn takedown? No. I don't like takedown. Alright, so we defeated Guzma without... Oh, I forgot to use Snorlax. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Snorlax would have made things easy, like I said. What is wrong with you? I'll remember you. Uh-oh. We got on the boss's bad list. Oh, cool. So we get the the Decidui uh, Z crystal, the Deciduum Z. I'll take it if you don't mind. I can sure make it get make sure it gets back to the masked masked royal. <laughs> so he's still denying it. Oh, we're always losing Lily. As Acerola, Casserola. I like this music, though. This is nice music. Mount Lanakila. Okay. Huh. Okay, so now we can take up the next trial past Route 11 through the Tapu Village. Okay. 
Very cool. So we'll be doing that one off screen, and I think Dieter will be doing that one on camera. So that's how we've been kind of dividing the the screen time of this Let's Play. So that's it for today's Let's Play. I guess we'll zip back to the Pokemon Center and look at the teams. Alright, so, once again, here, I'll, here are our two parties that we will be using to take on Dieter. The one on the bottom here with the, with the purple Pokeballs next to it, this is my main party. And then the one right here is my second party, so secondary party. I think I like the way that this is turning out. We do have some notable weaknesses here, but at the same time, we have a lot of good coverage and a lot of good mixes of like physical attackers, special attackers, defensive Pokemon, offensive Pokemon, etc. So unfortunately, we're still going to have Dart Tricks, but we will have this beauty to do some work. Uh, this is another weak link. This is a decent one. He should be strong. I'm, I'm expecting him to do a lot, but I'm, I'm not going to put too much pressure on him. But it's, he's got some great moves, and I'm excited to see what he can do. And then this newbie uh, won't be a mainstay on my team. I'm just going to try it out. It, it is exclusive to Moon version, but uh, we got it early by trading it on Pokemon GTS. And we're going to be replacing it with a Jangmo in the, in the following battle after this next one. Um, because Jangmo evolves at level 35. I don't want to just throw in a little first stage dragon against you know Dieter's monstrous team so that's my first party and then my second party here we've got a couple new things we have the Brian that we used previously and uh, we're gonna try some new things hopefully this works out well I'm actually really looking forward to seeing this new party in action I think it can do a lot of work so anyways uh, I'm, I'm gonna do all this leveling up off camera so by then I will have a Rubombi that's the only change everything else is fully evolved to this to that point and uh, everything will be level 30 when you see it again so uh, hopefully you're looking forward to that let us know if you are team scarecrow or team Dieter and let us know what you thought of the video of our teams everything else and I appreciate you watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more and we'll see you soon